let's measure uh, coil resistance and contact continuity on a 12 volt DC relay. If you'll notice on top of the relay, you have a little bit, bit of information. It's always difficult to, to read though. You have to catch the light just right. There's the part number, relay part number. There's also a diagram that shows the open and closed connections. Uh, it's very difficult to get the lighting just right. Oh, that's about almost right. But you can see there are little tiny numbers around the, the perimeter of the circle here. The circle represents the relay contacts on the bottom. And you can see right there, there's the, there's the coil connection. And it's always been difficult to read these things. Uh, you can look the part number up. I think I have a link that you can click on to, to get a data sheet for this relay. If we look on the bottom, if you look, there's some little numbers down there. They're really hard to see, but there they are. Those are the terminal numbers, one through eight. This is an eight pin relay. You'll notice also there's a little, little plastic tab right here at the bottom. That's intended to align the relay with the relay base so it plugs in correctly. Uh, if you don't do that, obviously you could rotate it any way you like and plug it in. So that's no good. So the tab aligns the relay with the base, okay? I don't have a base today. Um, what I'm trying to do instead is use the meter to locate the coil and take a measurement on it, first of all. So let's do that first. So if I look at the, at the relay itself, you can see there's tiny little wires coming down off the coil, okay? That wire looks like it goes right here. So I'm gonna stand this up and get my probes. I'm set to resistance on the meter. Let me go across those terminals and see if I get a reading. 101.5. So that's coil resistance. Let me switch the wires around to show that it doesn't matter which way I take the measurement. 101.5. Okay, that's my coil connection right there. And what I've got is a battery over here. I'm gonna plug the, the minus on this terminal and just leave it there for a second. Let me turn that a little bit, okay? So while I'm at it, I would like to find the contacts and check for continuity. So I'm gonna go across this one and this one. Okay, that's the closed contact. I know that because it's not energized and it's beeping. Okay, this contact here, this connection is probably the open. The only way I'll know that for sure is if I energize the coil. So let's do that. Let me show you what happens when you energize the coil on the relay. I'm gonna turn it up this way so you can watch it. When I touch this terminal here, see how it moves. Okay. And you can see right here the contacts that I'm talking about, how they close and open. So the white wire is the common connection. It brings voltage up to the, the, sil the, the shiny tab here. The shiny tab has the contacts at the end of it. And this motion here connects and disconnects the circuit. Okay, So you can see it's touching this side right here. That's the closed side. This is the open side. So let me go ahead and energize it and I'll just leave it on. Okay, let's go back with my probe again. I'm gonna put this on the common connection outside here and I'm gonna go across to this point. Okay, so now I get continuity here. And my closed connection is now open so I don't have anything there. On this side, I get the same results. So what, what this tells me is that the relay contacts are good the coil works correctly. It's got 101 ohms of resistance. Um, everything's good on this relay.